Hey guys, it's JT. I am just going to do a um, quick final thoughts on the Armor Granite. I am using a different camera, so it does look a little different. So let me see if I can pause this and switch this in the light more. There, that's a little bit better. But anyway, um, wanted to go ahead and give my final thoughts on this truck, um, just so you guys know. Um, that I've been impressed with this, I'll have to say. Um, even though it is cheaper than the brushless versions, there are a couple of slight differences with this, and I'll point those out real quick. Um, but overall, the truck has been fine. I've only had one part not really break, but somewhere in the steering, and I can't really show it to you because I have to take it apart to show you, but I hit a curve pretty hard, and then um, a kid drove in. He hit the curve pretty hard several times too, and one of the pieces, it's like a pole for the steering actually popped out. Um, don't know how that happened, but we got that back in and haven't had too many issues out of that um, at all. Um, first off, recommendations for upgrades. I would go ahead and upgrade the transmission if you plan on going brushless with it because it's going to need that for that extra power. I would go ahead and upgrade the servo because it is okay, but it's not the best for this. And one other upgrade I would definitely recommend to get right off the bat is there is a metal plate that comes on the brushless versions that I would go ahead and get because although it did not break on this one, um, I saw it break on the Fury, the short course truck. Um, ran into a wall and this whole piece just broke and I actually broke the shock tower too. It did not happen on this vehicle because these uh, meats here help protect it some. But um, anyway, uh, overall, like I said, I've been impressed with the truck. You can, you can, you can run a 3S LiPo on this. Um, I have a video up showing that a 3S LiPo can be run on this, which I was very impressed with that. I don't know if you can go down to a lower turn motor, but stock out the box running a 3S on this was a big thumbs up for me because instead of going brushless, you can just put a 2S LiPo and you want some more speed, put a 3S LiPo and you will be fine with that. Um, other little things, I know that this is a cheaper version than the other one, so it does not come with the metal plates that would actually go right here, which would give it, make the chassis a little bit sturdier than this one. But like I said, for what it is and what it's worth and for the price, it was still a very good price point because for the price you pay, you get a 2.4 gigahertz radio, you get a battery, you get a charger, and you can run a 3S LiPo. I cannot stress that. Uh, that is a major plus. Um, does not have a, the best slipper clutch in here, but th that, that stuff can be upgraded and changed on it. Uh, it cannot fit a 7-cell flat pack in it. This is a little bit shorter than the Fury. Um, if you do, I don't... It won't fit. It's that plain and simple. You can put a 2S light point, you can put a um, soft pack 4,000 milliamp um 3s light pointed and you can of course like i said do a 2s light pointed but you can't really go to larger as far as 2s you could do up to a 5000 but if you get to uh 6400 8000 or whatever those will not fit in here but this being two wheel drive it'll still give you a uh, long enough run time uh nothing else is broke on this truck which is good um transmissions held up pretty well but i did not put a brushless system in it and try to go crazy with 3s um, with it, but I think that if you get this, it'd be a good beginner truck, especially for the price point of it. And to upgrade, you just have to buy LiPo battery packs. I don't think you really need to get a new brushless system and all that for it. Now, how long the motor will last on a 3S LiPo, I don't know, but if it burns out, you know, it's like 15 bucks for another LiPo for that. Uh, I've already talked about the radio, basic uh, radio with your basic analog trims and stuff like that on it. So, uh, radio is fine for what it is. Never had any problems with reception and lost control or anything, which is good. So tires were okay um, for what it was worth. Uh, they ran okay and everything was okay with this truck. So um, this is good in my opinion, especially since it can run 3S LiPo. I know I've said that about 20 times in this video, but I can't stress how good that is. And that's for all these armor cars, actually. It says it in the instruction manual. So um, anyway, I might put a couple more videos up of this. Or I might move on to something else. I have a couple other cars in here that I've been working with and reviewing. So uh, don't forget to like or dislike and subscribe if you have not. And thanks again for watching and put any comments below. And I will try to get back to them. Thanks.